fight and you will obey my commands at all times. Touch him up, good luck to both of you. Eight rounds. Matapos ang labing limang buwang pananahimik ng kanyang boxing karera, ay muling bubuhayin ng batang magindanaw kutabato ang kanyang karera sa mundo ng suntukan. Lalaban ulit sa Amerika at kakasahan ang hamon mula sa isang Mexican champion na si Antonio Moran. 10 rounds ng title fight at gaganapin ito sa Florida ngayong February 1. Di pipitsugin kalaban itong Mexicano dahil dati itong WBO Latino Lightweight Champion at WBA Fedicentro Welterweight Champion. Mas malaki at mas matangkad itong kalaban. 5'11 itong si Moran habang si Duno ay 5'7 lang. Pero alam naman natin na basta Pinoy ay walang inuurungan lalo na kung basagan ng mukha ang pag-uusapan. Nanalaytay sa ugat ang pagiging palaban, dugong Pinoy na diuso ang atrasan. May record ang Mexicano na 29 wins, 6 losses, 20 dito via knockout, habang 26 wins, 3 losses, 20 via knockout naman ang Pinoy. Kung titignan mo ang parihong kartada ng dalawa ay mapapansing parihong mataas ang knockout percentage nila. Kaya naman, inaasahan agad ng karamihan na sulit talaga ang ticket na kanilang binayaran dahil paniguradong isang madugo at matinding bakbakan talaga ang kanilang makikita at posibleng may babagsak pa sa dalawa sa ibabaw ng lona. Ilang mga kilalang champion na din ang nakalaban nitong si Moran gaya ni Devin Haney, Jose Pedraza at Jimin Ortiz. Kaya naman, talagang subok na din ang tibay nito sa bakbakan pero ni isang Pinoy ay wala pa itong nakalaban. Kaya dito kay Romero Dono ay talagang masusubukan kung hanggang saan kakayanin ang lakas nitong si Moran. Habang itong si Romero Dono ay pitong Meksikano na ang nakalaban nito, anim dito ay tinalo niya at isa lang ang talo, yung kay Ryan Garcia. Kaya masasabing gamay na ni Romero Dono ang estilo ng mga Meksikano. Kung mga boxing analyst naman ang tatanungin, ay dihado daw talaga si Duno sa laban. Mas subok na daw itong si Moran at mas matangkad pa. Habang itong si Romero Duno daw ay inactive noong taong 2023, labing limang buwan na walang laban. Kaya talagang may dumikit pa daw dito na kalawang. Isa sa mga di malilimutang laban ni Romero Duno kontra sa mga Meksikano ay noong nakalaban niya ang matibay ng Meksikan na si Ezequiel Aviles. September 2018 ang laban sa Amerika. Dito ay dalawang beses niyang tinumba ang Meksikano at halos madurog ang pagmumukha nito pero bumangon pa din. Kahit mga komentator at mga boxing fans na nanonood ng live sa laban ay sinasabing dapat ihinto na daw ng kampo o ng referee ang laban dahil baka itong si Ezequiel Aviles daw ay matuluyan. Ating balikan ang nasabing laban. Start digging to the body ASAP. Because 
See, like that. Dig to the body, break them down a little bit. There you go. Just can't talk to an old different. Land a low blow. They probably land, know how to land shots like that. How to break it down, not only by throwing. Good right hand over the top. Oh, Avila snap in the lightweight division. Wow. He's when he fought Floyd Mayweather. I think that was a little mean. You're gonna be punching each other. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be like that. And get your. Avila, I thought Duno was gonna walk right through him, but Avila is holding his ground. Oh, good right hand. That is trainer of Duno. What Duno is capable of. Sacrifices that he's doing. Like, I'm very happy because you know that you went through. He should fight to the 12. All right, we are approaching the end of the fourth. Uh, actually not, man. I actually thought you know, we were going to walk over the relays, but, but I thought on the fourth round, you just did enough to win. Total punches thrown, and these two have been active. Punches per round, so they're doing, they're very, very active with those last shots. Oh, great cut. Any pressure or anything like that, he's just body shots. You don't have to be hard, but just have some punches out there. Hey, like a bug on the bell, gentlemen. All right, end of round five. Three rounds to go. No, no, no. He does. I think he needs to find a different fight. He's trying to box uh, Duno, and I don't think that's the two. Beat a guy like Duno, you got to take his power away from him, and that's fine on the inside of the pocket. The fifth round, I gave Duno for sure. He was more active landing. So you think uh, the fight right now? Looks like he's hurt though, his legs are not Let's go. right with him. So the second knockdown. It's just a matter of time this now. Fight. And now Dino is seeing off. Going little shots like that, but he's ready to land a hard, vicious shot. He's still keeping his composure. Continues to go. No, his legs are done and his power is not there, as you can tell. Dudo can smell the blood. It, it appears to be just a matter of time. Uh, his trainer talked about it here in round six. Oh! oh. And Avilas go down. Two. Goes down again. Four. Five. Manos arriba. Quieres pelear? Okay. Let's go. Campana. That time it was a straight right left to the chin. Ten four. Avilas needs a miracle. Uh, he's landing some good shots right now, and he's still keep uh, using like access energy. He's still just stay sit down. He pats his feet, and then that's when he starts to throw a shot. Yeah, mad respect to him. He's a true warrior. Um, round seven. Here in the desert. Still bumping the hard, but he's still good. He's still going blows. Wow. is still throwing. He knocked Duno back. And I think the corner told him that because he's coming guns hot. He's coming swinging with all. Every fighter nowadays, you can attest to this, wants to win a spectacular fashion. Yes, exactly. You want to showcase. Oh, good body shot. Right Seconds. Left in this fight. Oh, good. Oh, showing their appreciation. He's a true warrior, man. Mad respect to him. Ten seconds. Even ten. And they will saddle. Oh, 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 wow. Man, he was out of it right there. Unanimous decision. From General Santos City in the Philippines, Romero!